guys. I'm back. <laughs> I'm on a roll. <laughs> I decided I should change Jack. And so I did and decided I wanted to make a video with him because he's looking utterly adorable. I um, I changed him into this really sweet um, Amelia Rose uh, knitted romper. I guess knitted rompers is the theme because I've still got uh, Addison in her little knitted bunny romper. And I put his little beanie on. So it has a matching beanie. I actually don't generally like to put hats on my babies too often because that means it messes up their hair. And I'm really funny about it because I like their hair to look perfect. Ugh, I'm a weirdo, I know. Um, <laughs> but he looks super, super cozy in this little outfit. He's all curled up in his bouncy chair looking just scrumptious. I love him. And I wanted to share with you guys how it looks outside my nursery window. This is kind of what's happening. It doesn't, it's, it doesn't look like there's like um, a ton of snow in the air, but I'm trying to see if you guys can actually see the amount of snow coming down. Like I was just out a few minutes ago and was walking my dogs and um, literally I come in after a couple of minutes and I'm like completely covered in snow. Like my hair was like soaked. <laughs> because it's just coming down so quickly now. So we're amidst the worst of the storm, I think between now and like 10 p.m. tonight. And then I don't know what it's supposed to do overnight. And then again, tomorrow we're still supposed to be getting more snow because there's two storms that are actually like coming together, I guess, is why this is so bad. Um, but the actual coast, the east coast, is getting the worst of it because they're getting a mix of um, heavy, heavy winds. Like, we're supposed to get some of that heavy wind. That has not started yet, thank goodness. Oh, if you can hear that rumbling, that's the snowplow going through. Um, and now the dogs are going to bark like absolute idiots because they think that <laughs> they think someone's here. Um, so I apologize if there's going to be continuous parking in the background. Hopefully they'll settle down. But um, yeah, so it's just the combination of these two storms. But um, the heavy winds is what they're really, really concerned with. The invisibility if you're out on the roads driving. And with fresh snow and wind, we all know that um, that becomes um, the blizzard-like conditions that they're calling this. So all in all, it's a good day to not have to leave the house, which I don't have to leave the house. So I'm thrilled that I can just stay in and stay warm. I'm just hoping the winds don't get bad at some point because then it risks the power outages, um, which we don't want. <laughs> so hopefully, fingers crossed that we'll get through this storm without any incident. Um, and I am enjoying some baby time. Look at Jack. How can you not love that little precious little face? Look at him. He says, I'm just content just hanging out here with my pacifier and my bottle and just enjoying time with my mommy he <laughs> he's just so cute you guys I just love him he's just a bundle of joy so yeah that's pretty much what I'm looking at here um yeah that's that's pretty much it not not a whole lot else going on other than just trying to stay warm um, like I said, I'm actually doing some work from home, so I'm actually being productive during my day, which is great. Um, so I'm still getting some things done. But yeah, one of the things I quickly wanted to just kind of talk about real quick. Um, types of collecting. So I, as I was doing, as I was making the other video with Cassidy about the matting and everything, and um, I mentioned that, you know, some people, collectors collect for different reasons. And... I guess for me, I'm a dress them up and put them just so, so that they look perfect and staged really well. I don't necessarily have to pick them up to enjoy my babies. And I know some collectors really, that is what it is for them that they enjoy so much of this hobby is that they love to be able to pick up and hold their babies on a regular basis. Um, and for me, I do like to hold them occasionally. I don't hold them like tons and I don't hold them every day. There are, there are definite days I don't even come into the nursery because I'm just very busy and I don't have the time. But I like to be able to poke in and look at them. Look at them looking so sweet and, and cute and cuddly. Um, and I also, for me as a collector, the things that I like about having these babies is also these special things that I can get for them. You'll notice that I kind of, with each baby, 
they tend to have like a lovey, they tend to have their own bottle or pa special pacifiers, special outfits, of course, for each baby. Um, just the accessorizing of all the things that a baby would need and each baby having for me, that is a lot of the fun of collecting for me. And I love the special little items each baby has. I know I've mentioned that previously in, in another video, but I just, I find it interesting too how different we all are in the style and, and how we like to collect and what's important to us when we're collecting. You know, for some collectors, it's, you know, they like to have quite an array of dolls. For me, it's the less is more, and I like to accessorize for them with special things. So, I don't know, I just find it really interesting at the array of ways we all collect so differently. And, I don't know, I just, I just find it interesting, and I think that's what makes the world go round, because we're all so different, and we love different things, but um, what sparked that, I guess, is that I was chatting with um, my sweet friend Samantha and her and I are a lot alike in the way that we collect and same with um, Tina it's you know and even Saida I know that we all have our ways of collecting and I think that's why um, we have so much in common because we like certain particular things when we have our collection of babies even if it's just one baby we like to have special things for that baby and for each baby if we have more than one so i just find it interesting and i think that's what helps us connect with other collectors is the things that we do like and learning about what other people like and other collectors like and i don't know just enjoying the differences i i really think that it's a wonderful way to enjoy our hobby even more and I love that people like different things than me. I, I really think that that's, that's what makes it so interesting when we're meeting new people and new collectors that are newer to the community or if they've been collecting for years. Just hearing the different ways we enjoy the hobby is interesting to me. So I just thought I'd share that. And of course, I am thoroughly enjoying this little baby boy. Isn't he the cutest, you guys? Look at how cuddly he looks. He just looks all curled up and cuddly. He's like the perfect young baby. He's still a young baby. He's not newborn. We know this because he's a big boy. But he certainly has that young baby look. And same with Cassidy. Even though she's a bit of a chunk, she's definitely got that newer baby look. She's not brand new looking because they're teeny and scrunched up and really, really new looking. But they still have that young baby look to them, which is, I think, the stage that I love the most about babies. But there you go, guys. Sharing little Jack, my little guy. So cute. Well, hopefully I'll be staying warm, <laughs> staying off the roads. I hope everybody has a great rest of their day and we will see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.